Hello my beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for this upcoming week. We're going to check to see what's coming your way. Also I'm going to leave a link up here in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. And this reading is intended for sun, moon, or rising signs of Taurus. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos. It is absolutely free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want, okay? All right, guys, let's jump into your reading and let's see what's coming your way. Okay, it seems like you're going to have a very lightweight and enjoyable week. I even see like a chunk of money here towards the maybe Friday or maybe towards the end of the week. And um, I see that you're working on something here. There's a project and I can see there's a chunk of money in your mind. Um, this can be like you're looking like a mad scientist here. You have like all the tools and like those like the things, lab laboratory in front of you. This doesn't have to mean that you're a scientist actually working on something. This can be some project that you have in your mind. And it doesn't even have to be like settled and um, like everything is calculated yet. Because I see in the beginning of the week, it's, nothing appears here, okay? I see that you're doing your daily chores, maybe going to work here. The things that are actually, because they're on the bottom, that you have to do for this earthly ground that we're living in this earthy plane and uh, there's a path here in the beginning maybe this is a tr world the path that you're traveling there is a male figure at the end this can be someone who's hearing want to hear from you maybe that's what you're uh, tra traveling towards i see there is a path outside here but this is not uh this is an idea this is not something that you are executing yet this is an idea maybe you want to travel and you're contemplating and it's going to get clearer and clearer as the time goes by there's a legal paper here but this is a big one i don't know if you're planning to move maybe get a house or like this looks like a square to me kind of like a square space um like a space for a store maybe if you're planning to open up a store or um I mean something like that is showing here and I see there's another male figure here looking the same this person is looking not looking towards you initially this can be someone that you're going to be convincing so maybe someone that is going to be giving you the financial support and finally I see that you're looking eye to eye and this person is going to be convinced they're going to be giving you the support that you need here okay um There's a new path opening here in the middle of the week. There is a face. Hmm. This can be a separate person than that though. It looks like someone younger than you are. It can be maybe a brother or um, I mean someone who, who it looks like a male figure uh, that is wanting some support from you or like or they're on the path okay then when you sit on the path this is the second one they're going to be there for you they're going to be on the way maybe they're going to be the one taking you there can also be that okay i see a v as in victory appearing here and i see you standing on a hilltop this is kind of like the energy of libra energy the full energy so it's the fool's journey we see in the tarot what happens here is um you're gonna take a leap of faith at this time maybe there is a person uh, or a situation that you want to revisit you want to see how it's gonna go uh, and that's why you're gonna take a leap of faith and set off to this new path with this person or the situation V can indicate that it is going to end up with being actually a great victory for you at the end of the day, okay? Another thing I see, like I said here, you are, you have a hat. I see a feminine figure on top of your head. This can be someone, a feminine character that you're taking support from. 
you're doing some crazy scientists like i said but i don't mean in the negative way i mean in the way of like um the doctor from uh, back to the future type of way like the person he knows what he's doing like he, basically not 100 percent, but he has a goal and his goal is to travel in time and he goes for it no matter who says what he says you know what i'm gonna make it happen i'm not sure what i'm doing or he basically knows 98 percent of what he's doing two percent is not clarity that's why he keeps having like okay this might work but every time it works whatever he does so this can be the attitude maybe you're not 100 percent sure what you're doing However, you're getting a support here from a feminine figure. And because there's she's standing above you, it can be an angel also. It doesn't have to be uh, someone that you know face to face or maybe like an older feminine figure that can be like a mother figure that is giving you the support that you need. And with that, you're moving on. You're moving forward and making this like time machine work basically, okay? I see a trident here. Trident symbolizes also water signs and um, dominating the emotions as well so you might get emotional along the way um, maybe unnecessarily however you're going to be controlling your emotions as well you're not going to be losing yourself here i see another male figure he has kind of like this big pot in his hand hmm, letter e is showing here another letter e is showing here seems like this is something that you're working on you see this looks like similar and this is actually you're giving it to him in a compact way maybe even finding for your project uh, someone who can outsource it or even um you know market it okay towards the end of the week i see a legal paper here i see there's a course Horses means wish fulfillment and you can see the stars are shooting stars here. One, two, three, four, five shooting stars coming forth. This can symbolize that your wish will be granted in five different ways or five different wishes will be granted for you. Okay, let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that. There's double. This is a crescent moon. First of all, this is a legal accomplishment. There are double uh, rainbows basically here for you. And I see four people in your home. Can be like family members coming together, four of you. And maybe executing, creating this thing that you want. There's uh, tears of joy. This is going to be something that is actually very, um, you know, powerful for you. You're going to have great happiness when you accomplish that. And I see a cup even appearing towards the end of the week the cup can be symbolizing that the offer that you're going to be getting for this invention that you have the invention when i keep saying invention it doesn't have to be like something solid that you can hold in your hand like the time machine that we're talking about can also be writing a book can be like another creative endeavor maybe you have like you're writing down your autobiography you're writing down um, maybe an energy modality that you're finding. I see a letter S here. This can be in the first name or the last name that is someone supporting you. A, S, and I see a key. Key can be symbolizing the door that, um, like that unlocking that whatever is locked in your, um, you know, in your environment. Maybe you have been trying to make this thing happen for a while. You have this great thought, but it is being blocked. It's not showing up. This key can be that unlocking component, okay? Because it's a small one, I'm not gonna say this is the thing making it happen. You already made this happen, but this little adjustment can actually get you to where you need to be, okay? Let's see what your card is selling. We have lost events, okay, loss. Loss is uh, maybe letting go of the idea that it's not possible okay loss because whatever that we lose even though it is not valuable for us we feel uh this sadness here we see a man stands near pierre holding a frayed rope in his hand as he looks out to sea he realizes this beautiful sailboat is drifting farther and farther away from him 
This card signals a time of loss for you. While it may be something minor, it could mean that someone you care about is slowly drifting away. And this can be about, like I mentioned, we saw a character here that you're reconnecting. Maybe that it is time to take some action towards it because if you don't, uh, you might be losing this person as well. And also another thing here is, um, like I said, if you have the thought, if you have a creative idea, if you do not connect with it, if you do not write it down, if you do not take action towards it, you might actually lose that thought idea as well. There may be even, even a complete severing of ties in romantic family or work relationship. This card could also signify a personal or financial loss, a stock investment could go south or some valuables could be sold. However, this loss manifests in your life. It is important that you address the difficulty with calm, self-loving clarity. Let yourself grieve, want your anger and sadness in your journal. And as you do, make sure you also release the negative energy. Turn to the supportive people and enjoyable activities in your life. Let yourself slowly take control and reestablish your power and peace of mind. Give it time and you know that your soul has something even better coming your way. This can also be like giving up something that doesn't serve you anymore. And the uh, affirmation here is, all of life is a pro process. As I honor myself and my emotions, wonderful people and things will come my way. Okay? Well, this was a negative one, but you don't have to interpret it this way. Like I said, um, you can actually see it as a something that you can prevent. Okay? You can reconnect. You can retie. You don't have to be looking from the behind of the things that are leaving. If you don't want to lose this connection, you can actually work towards it. Okay? Right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.